What up, everybody? I am Hotep Jed, Mutaliba Tum L, uh, with Golden Moore Services. Um, again, you know, I do legal education. Uh, I'm not an attorney, but I will help you uh, with your case. But again, I'm not a state bar attorney, uh, though I am doing some research that um, Congress did put in a law where uh, you can have anybody be your attorney. It doesn't have to be state bar. Plus, state bar is not part of the state. They just contract with the state. So uh, with that being said, you know, I want to give props, all props to uh, Terry Parks. You know, uh, Yaz Magnified thing is doing a fantastic job of uh just going at anybody who just it seems like your paperwork don't work he going at you you know what i'm saying and the person he's going after he climbed to the town to the top of sinai and grabbed <laughs> almen osiris by the ankles and yanked his ass down so y'all yeah, keep doing what you're doing man you know i you know keep doing what you're doing and uh as long as you keep striving for the truth See, the truth is a separate thing, you know, uh, it's different. It's not, it's not even in the ether. It's, it's just, it's a thing that exists, but once you grab a hold of it, you become a pretty strong, uh, human being. So again, y'all doing a great job. Keep doing it. Golden Moore supports you a thousand percent, bro. Uh, I know I've had some criticism for you too, but it's been constructive. It's been constructive and I'll continue to be constructive because that's who i am i'm not trying to tear you down i'm not even trying to tear um in down but it seems like if you have anything even slightly uh negative to say uh to Amin Osiris, he just jumps on you immediately i don't like that i don't like that and so i'm going to show proof today that his paperwork his some of his paperwork is okay if you want to study the law but you shouldn't be turning this shit in the court because you're not stating any facts on which relief can be granted uh and you're not stating any facts of you know of the case you know that's nice that you know the law but how does the law uh pertain to the facts the facts of your case like who who are the other people involved who are the child uh child support case workers who is their legal counsel um you have witnesses testimony he don't do none of that he just sending out templates and say hey just insert your name here on some template crap that if the judge looks at it, the judge is gonna laugh at it just like uh y'all is magnified already has demonstrated without any doubt beyond reasonable doubt like jay-z's album beyond reasonable doubt you know what i mean so let me get into this. Uh, I actually, one of my clients told me that the audio wasn't working. Uh, so, you know, thanks, Bishop Blueprint. You know, still got love for you, baby. And, uh, you know, I hope everything's good with you and uh, your business endeavors. I know that you were trying to start a trust and something. And, you know, you got mad because I started to, ch to charge for it. But, I mean, it's a lot of valuable information. Um, maybe I can, you know, give you a discount on that, man. Uh, beyond that so but we'll link up later uh but anyway bruh or brothers and sisters let me get let me get to amen osiris's paperwork um so i kept his paperwork along with some other child support paperwork in this folder and i want to go over the blank uh clearfield trust this this uh dismissal so here it is right here and that and i you know i looked up this case law uh 318 us 363 and 369 now the thing i want to demonstrate here is this is supposed to be a verbatim quote from a judge right a verbatim quote let's actually just search for this part you know because supposedly he said it all so let's go to um because i brought it up 13 uh 318 us um actually it's not 369 it's 363 just want to show that to everybody now there's a way on google that you can do searches for text that you want to find within the page see i just typed that in and that noise that you heard mean it ain't there you know what i'm saying the, that text is not there but this is the court case and this is the opinion of the court and this is what they're saying this is the 
the the opinion they delivered with reasoning and facts and the background to how they came to that conclusion now as a test to make sure this ain't no you know fraudulent shit uh i'm going to copy a piece okay we're going to copy that piece there all right no notice was given the clearfield trust company so i'm going to copy that let's go away so we can't see it and then we're going to paste this in bam it found it because it's part of uh, the web page and it found the text cool that's that's a good algorithm good programming by google chrome again if i go back to the paperwork amen's paperwork um all right that didn't work so we'll go back to his paperwork we'll copy this because if he's if he said it if he's quoting it here then it's got to be in the case you know what i'm saying so putting it in there zero out of zero nothing shows up that means the judge never said that. Now, um, let me put in the search engine uh, what I just put there, and bam, this disinformation search that I just did brings up a PDF, right? So, who produced this PDF? You know what I'm saying? The, all right, and they're saying the same thing here government's dissent, but as I just showed you, that was never said in the official case law in the opinion of, of this and they and they quoted here too they're hoping that you won't go and figure it out but this is all part of like some patriot movement you know united states incorporated yes they did the united states is a corporation right nobody's denying that but the way they twist and uh um equivocally talk about the facts is deliberately misleading so why would a man charge you know what i'm saying why would a man charge um you know he charged me 700 bucks for this you know for this the, you know why would you charge 700 bucks knowing that you should have done the research i'm assuming that you know that you're committing the fraud <laughs> you know what i'm saying i assume that you know that this is not true and it's fraudulent you know and people going in the court with this goddamn paperwork and they're losing and they're wondering why all you're doing is stating a bunch of law. This is something to be studied, not to be turned into court. You know what I'm saying? This is not, this is like all technical law stuff. But what about the day that I went out and I filed the paperwork? What what time and date was that? Uh, uh, who supposedly served me from child support with the certificate of service? Who, what times and dates are in here? There's no facts. You're just stating law publication i mean that's cool but there's no you're not stating any law you know what i'm saying so yeah that that that's my video i want to keep it as short as possible but you know i'm sorry to say man but Os uh, uh, i'm in osiris is a fraud he's a fraud and i and i'm putting it out there i want to see his paperwork from when he got his child support case dismissed i want to see that now because everything he does is questionable now everything's questionable well me i'm going beyond questionable i'm calling it a fraud just like wasil bay and i know rick w got his child support case dismissed but his business services is fraud it's fraud because i have some of his customers that he had so i got first hand testimony on the disappointment of his customers and like i said to all you so-called gurus the only dude i respect right now is y'all is magnified that's it I don't respect Amen. I don't respect Rick. And I definitely do not respect Wasil Gay. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting it out there because I'm getting kind of pissed. You know, uh, you know, Amen wants to uh, put on this perfect persona. Nobody's perfect, bro. Nobody's perfect. My brother, you better drop that shield real quick. Because we've already pierced that veil. You're not perfect. Your paperwork fucking sucks. Your paperwork fucking sucks. I'm saying it right now. Your shit sucks. Rick W, your shit sucks. And Wasil Gay, you know your shit be is beyond trash. Okay? So the only person I respect right now is Yaz Magnified Terry Parks. That's it. That's it. That's all I respect. That's all he put in the work to get it done. Just like myself. I'm still technically on child support i ain't going front i got my uh 
uh, the withholding terminated. And that 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 had nothing to do with Amin Osiris. I actually went to somebody else for that. Um, yeah, that, that had nothing to do with him. I had to do an order of stay, all kind of stuff, man. But he had nothing to do with that. Not a zilch, not an iota to do with that. And how I maneuvered and developed the strategy to stop the withholding. And now I'm about to get this thing tossed, uh, you know, with the motion to dismiss and demur. But, you know, I'm just disappointed in the guy, man. I want the guy to be good and tell the truth and his paperwork works, but I can't say that because it's not true. And I don't give a damn what he feels about it. Oh, state your claim. I don't need, well, I think the claims have already been stated and been true. And I've already proved that your paperwork is false right here with those quotes. Now your black laws dictionary shit is good. You know, presumption, those are good because that's those develop legal fictions. TANF, we know you know TANF like the back of your hand uh all that stuff but still where does my situation fit in with the law and so that's why <clears throat> the judges where's your emotional uh um tort where is your tort what have they what have they done to you specifically you know uh you, you don't state it here that's why the paperwork doesn't work okay all right i'm i am hotep jed mutalib atum l um you know i hate to come out and say it but i'm a little i'm a little teed off you know what i'm saying and i just need to see proof now because i doubt everything he said or ever has said so now uh it's gonna take proof now and if he doesn't show proof the snowballs is gonna keep getting larger larger and larger until the snowball just take you out the game so i don't care if you're the first person to start it that that that's irrelevant to me that's like a little kid well i had the ball first that <laughs> motherfuckers don't care about that they want to get their case dismissed i'm the first one to do it. no one gives a goddamn about you the first one to do it or the last it don't matter you're inefficient that's what people care about your stuff is inefficient bruh word man <laughs> God, man, I know I'm running off on a, uh, a, ta a tangent here, but I think it just needs to be said, you know, and um, I am kind of piggybacking off of, uh, but, you know, I'm I'm, a, I'm my own grown man. I make my own decisions on who I get influenced by. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, I was influenced by all men, you know, at first. Now I just pretty much influence myself, but sometimes you need that extra nudge from the community because i'm coming from a community perspective not just me you know that's why i tell people do your research when you get this paperwork because he's quoting stuff from justices that never said nothing you know and he's saying it came from the supreme court look at that supreme court so anyway y'all watch your back uh never give up never give up the results may not come as quickly as you want them but if you keep studying and you keep staying dedicated and focused toward this, you'll, you'll be okay. But you got to be patient. You know, we Americans, Americans want results right away. Uh, they don't know how to be patient. You know what I'm saying? But patience is a virtue and is needed. You know, even Jesus spent 40 days and 40 nights. Or I'm sorry, Yeshua spent 40 days and 40 nights battling the demons. So when the devil tempted it many times. Don't be tempted by the devil. I'm not saying Amen's a devil, but we know Wasil Bey's a devil. You know, he's trying to test your manhood. Oh, pussy, pussy, pussy. That ain't gonna win you no court case, bro. <laughs> that ain't gonna win you no court case, man. So anyway, I'm out. Till next time, y'all. Peace.